We got married 12 years ago. Uh, as we began our life together, uh, uh, obvious responsibilities like uh, uh, providing for the family and uh, taking care of needs at home uh, were all taken care of. Being a choice marriage, I was always under the impression and the supposition that all rough edges could be cornered off. But I guess uh, that's how it's with all marriages. We just awakened with root shocks. Uh, in spite of knowing each other for such a long time, it was almost like being married to a stranger. So the things we thought uh, we had in common uh, and which would work in our favor uh, really didn't help. Uh, so the initial years just went by um, with both of us just going with the flow. Uh, we were not being intentional about fulfilling our roles in marriage. This was partially because uh, we weren't translating what we knew to be right uh, into practice and partially because we didn't understand God's design for marriage either. As our first child came along, responsibilities increased and things started getting even more difficult. With the additional role of being parents, um, we were quite unsettled because we found that we were not complementing each other as spouses in the first place. Being a non-assertive person by nature, uh, I was quite uncomfortable with the traditional model of uh, a, a male being above a woman. It was only when scripture was opened up uh, to me about our specific roles did I find it uh, necessary to correct uh, my understanding. And uh, I began to uh, be sensitive and anticipate uh, my wife's needs. Being a methodical person who likes things to go in a plan, uh, I began to usurp areas which should have been in the control of a husband. With a greater understanding of what God expects of us from His Word, I had to consciously train myself to let go and allow Bini to take that control so that he could be the head of our home. It was a daily surrender of who I naturally was and a constant dependence on the Spirit to be in obedience to God's Word. Learning from my minimal involvement uh, in supporting Jean uh, with our first child, uh, I became more sensitive for the second child and this time uh, was more supportive. I instantly as a person work uh, on a solution for every problem. So one of the challenges we uh, both um, met were when we had our second child where I kind of found it quite difficult to let go and allow Bini to take up some of those responsibilities. But over time, through trial and error, uh, we were able to uh, figure out certain ways of how we could complement each other even in childcare. Being involved in worship ministry, uh, we would often have to travel separately and uh, uh, Jean would have to take care of the kids uh, and organize things uh, around them uh, so that I could fulfill uh, my personal calling. Bini has supported my decision of giving up a full-time job and being available for my children as a full-time mother so that I could uh, accomplish and fulfill the calling that God has for me. He resonates with me on the importance of at least one parent being available uh, full-time for the nurturance of the home and family. Years later, as our kids have grown bigger, I have started getting into a part-time job and he makes himself available to fit into my non-availability. So in conclusion, uh, we believe that uh, the order in the home would uh, only come when the roles that uh, God has given husband and wife are fulfilled together. In the standards of the world, uh, this seems really out, outdated, uh, but when we live in obedience to God, um, uh, this really brings about fruit uh, in your life together. This is what I believe. A braid of hair appears to have only two strands and if you were to put them together, they would quickly unknot. It is the third strand that brings stability and keeps the hair tightly woven. And it is only Jesus who can keep a husband and a wife together as well.